Hey DJ Tech Tools, this is Ian Golden. Today we have a very special treat for you. I'm gonna walk you through the brand new software from Beatport called Beatport Pro. This is a really powerful piece of software for your desktop that's gonna allow you to manage not only your DJ collections, but also all of your other related files like stems, loops, one shots, and everything else. You're gonna be able to tag them, organize them, and keep everything in one efficient place. So back in the day, this is how we organized our music. It was basically a lot of records in boxes that then went into crates. It was nice because if you knew a record and you knew basically what it sounded like from its label, you had a good sense of what you were gonna play. Nowadays, in digital land, we've basically got lines of text. And iTunes is not exactly the best music manager for DJs. Fortunately, Beatport Pro has come out with a new version, Beatport Pro 2, that's really kicking iTunes butt and it's gonna be a lot better way to manage your music than even old school crates. So here's the new Beatport Pro. This is miles beyond iTunes. iTunes is great 10 years ago, but it's become kind of a bloated media center and Beatport Pro strips all that down to make it very simple while adding a lot of powerful features that are specific for DJs. What am I talking about? Well, first of all, it separates all of your music into different kinds of sounds. So if I go into music, it automatically knows mixes, tracks, stems, parts, loops, one shots, and sound effects. So while on iTunes, all the music will be in one big long list, in Beatport you can quickly go into the territory that you want to go into. The playlists are always present on the left hand side of the screen and you can reorder them as easily as you want and do things like nested playlists and get your organization as simple or as detailed as you want. Finally, the store is integrated right into the platform so we can go ahead and preview songs and purchase things straight from Beatport in the same interface. If I want to, any of my purchases will automatically be put into my playlist with their date, so I never have to create or download or import any songs. They're right into my playlist, making the integration totally seamless. So Beatport Pro 2 is a lot better for organizing DJ-focused music. The first thing, of course, is as I'm going through, you'll see the full waveform preview of every song, allowing you to quickly skip through and check and see if that's a song you actually want to play. Over on the right hand side, you're going to see a very robust list of new tags that are very DJ specific. So not only do you have the standard genres, but you have a lot more stuff as well, specifically mood. There's mood tags based on everything you might imagine. And Bport is uploading a lot of this metadata to their servers. So if someone else has already pre-tagged this song with moods, it'll show up in this box and give you the option to select what somebody else wanted. One of the best things possible is the ability to sync with Bport. So it's gonna go ahead and look at their database and say, hey, here's the songs that we think match with this song. Well, clearly those are the same. So we'll go ahead and just hit done and that's gonna bring in a lot of information. The final amazing feature for working with music that's great for DJs and really, really kicks iTunes butt are specific filters. For example, I could say, please only show me BPMs that are greater than 120 beats per minute. Done. Let's also add a filter that says, only show me things that are in the genre of bass. Done. So using these filters, you can very quickly cut down and parse a huge collection into the information in the files you actually want. This filter list is really powerful. It allows you to do things like genre, BPM, or even publish date, which I really like. This is some information you can get from Beatport in the sync feature, which I'll show you in a little bit. You could say, please only show me songs that have been published this year. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out or disable the genre for bass. So here are tracks that I have in my collection that have been published this year that are greater than 120 beats per minute. Very quickly, you can take a huge collection of tens of thousands of songs and parse it down into the stuff that you actually wanna play. One of the big challenges with DJing is that a lot of times your songs will not have correct information, and so it's very difficult to organize them. Beatport offers you a couple of cool tools to help you do that. First and foremost, if I go ahead and clear out these filters and we're looking at all of my songs, 
I can sort my uh, tracks or my songs by different formats. These are a bunch of tracks that have no genre. I've sorted everything by genre. We can do it by key or by BPM. Key might also work. We'll see a lot of stuff that has no key. So let's go ahead and look for this song. We basically have no information on it. All we have is the name and the title and maybe the genre. But we don't know what BPM it was. We don't know what, when it was published. We can go ahead and sync with Bport and Bport's gonna search for that song in their catalog. There it is. I'm just gonna click on it and say, yep, those are the same songs. Hit done. And it's now gonna write all of that information to the file. So it's permanently stored with the file. Even if we were to accidentally de delete Bport Pro 2, or if I were to send a friend that file, all that information is now stored with that file, including any additional tags that I wanna put on there, like venue or vocal. Another really cool tag is set time. You can now tag songs with what part of the set it might be appropriate in, pre-warm up, intro, filler, closer, etc. Really powerful DJ focus stuff there. And of course, all this is stored. One of my favorites is that I now have the accurate publish date. So I know that the song was actually released in 2012, regardless of when I actually put it in my collection. So one thing I really like about Bport Pro 2 is that I can not only manage my files and my song collection in one place, but I can use that same interface and those same rules to look for new songs. So here I am browsing Bport, but obviously you're gonna see that there's somewhere in the neighborhood of three or maybe 35 million items. We need to parse down all these tracks and find things that actually matter. So I can use filters to change things like, oh, I only want to see hard techno. And I only want to see things that were published, let's say in the last 30 days. Great, now we're down to a thousand items. Maybe I also want to say, I don't like fast techno, I like kind of slower techno. So please only show me things that are in the range of 120 beats per minute and 127 beats per minute. Okay, now we've cut it down to 92 songs. This makes Bport, which is this huge, massive repository of music, a lot more manageable using the same tools that you're already using to manage your collection. So the final benefit of this software is not just for DJs, it's also for producers or DJs who do a lot of producing. It will collect and manage all of your samples, loops, one shots, and different kind of production pieces of material that you have lying around your hard drive and put them in one window that's easy to find. So we can go ahead and tag things um, and they have a whole different tagging structure just for loops and one shots. For example, now that Bport Pro knows that this is a loop, it allows me to classify it as hit, uh, kick, snare, tom, clap, or whatever it is. And once again, once I define each of these files as their characteristic, that is actually stored with the waveform or the AIFF file, so it follows it around, and I'm never gonna lose this information in the future. It's a little bit tedious to get started, but once you've done the work, you're gonna have a very, very organized collection that's easy to browse and really easy to manage. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to get more videos just like this one, tips, tricks, reviews, and so much more, just visit us on the web at djtechtools.com.